Our Black History Month series continues here at News 4. Today, we introduce you to a longtime organization that brought debutante balls to give young African-American women opportunities. The Eureka Club invited News 4's Kinsley Centers to their clubhouse to talk about the rich, inspiring history of an event now open to all. The first debutante ball was held in 1963. Today, the Eureka Club continues its mission of setting young women up for success. This is accomplished by sharing ideas for innovation, connecting mentors to inspire teens, and reflecting on those who came before them, all right at their clubhouse. The program was actually founded during a time we were still in segregation. And the founders of our program felt that there needed to be some transformational activities for African-American young ladies. Historian Linda Garrett remembers the debutante club's humble beginning. As a way of exposing them to uh, more culturally enriched activities and to expand exposure for them. It has transformed through the years. As society changed, we changed. However, the ultimate mission of instilling positive lifelong qualities in young women has stayed the same. They live, work, and serve around the world. Wherever they go, they are accustomed to doing exactly what is right and proper uh, to concerning society. Chaplain Jacqueline Mills points to the different academies Eureka offers. A spiritual one, we do creative uh, writing, we do leadership and development, career, social graces, so many activities that we offer to them. The club teaches service, friendships, mannerisms, and more. To help them become productive citizens of our society. This is my great niece right here. A queen from 2008. And being a part of its debutante cotillion is a family tradition for folks like Ann Rich. I've had a daughter to go through it and the maturity that they, they, they gain from the time they enter until the time they leave and then going forth and not only my daughter but other daughters that my, her friends I've seen where where they are in life and it's just a wonderful program for them. Rich is past immediate president of the club but no matter her role she is there like other members and that's to be there for the girls and cheer them on now through life. Every year I get filled with tears because I see how they started out, how they are now. I am fulfilling my mission as a Christian. You want to do something that's going to help somebody. And that's what I, I like. This is a scholarship based program limited to 11th and 12th graders. All young ladies participating earn a scholarship for when they go to college or the workforce. Now, the Eureka Club has given hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years. There is no end in sight.